प्लीज प्रैक्टिस द वर्ड्स ऑन स्क्रीन बाई पोजिंग द वीडियो एज इट विल बी हेल्पफुल इन द डिक्टेशन ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज Be ready for the dictation. Five seconds to go. Okay, let's start. It has been observed that a lot of time and resources are consumed in filing of appeals which involve identical issues. Taking forward our policy of sound litigation management, I propose to provide. that if a question of law in the case of an assessee is identical to a question of law which is pending in appeal before the jurisdictional high court or the supreme court in any case the filing of further appeal in the case of this assessee by the department shall be deferred till such question of law is decided by the jurisdictional high court or the supreme court this will greatly help in reducing the repeated litigation between taxpayers and the department taking forward our efforts to further promote the ifsc i hereby propose to provide that income of a non residential non resident from offshore derivative instruments or over the counter derivatives issued by an offshore banking unit income from royalty and interest on account of lease of ship and income received from portfolio management services in ifsc shall be ex- shall be exempt from tax subject to specified conditions para in the globalized business world there are several works contracts whose terms and conditions mandatorily require formation of a consortium the members in the consortium are generally companies in such cases the income of cases aops has to suffer a graded surcharge up to 37% which is a lot more than the surcharge on the individual companies accordingly i propose to cap the surcharge of these aops at 15% further the long term capital gains on listed equity shares units etc are liable to maximum surcharge of 15% while the other long term capital gains are subjected to a graded surcharge which goes up to 37% i propose to cap the surcharge on long term capital gains arising on transfer of any type of asset at 15% this step will give a boost to the startup community and along with my proposal on extending tax benefits to manufacturing companies and startups reaffirms our commitment to atmanirbhar bharat the income tax is not an allowable expenditure for computation of business income this includes tax as well as surcharges the health and educational cess is imposed as an additional surcharge on the taxpayer for funding specific government welfare programs however some courts have allowed para presently there is ambiguity regarding set off of brought forward loss against unclosed income detected in search operations it has been observed that in many cases where undisclosed income or suppression of sales etc is detected payment of tax is avoided by setting off 
of losses in order to bring certainty and to increase deterrence among tax evaders. I propose to provide that no set of, of any loss shall be allowed against undisclosed income detected during search and survey operations. It has been noticed that as a business promotion strategy, there is a tendency on businesses, businesses to pass on benefits to their agents. Such benefits are taxable in the hands of the agents. In order to track such transactions, I propose to provide for tax deduction by the person giving benefits if the aggregate value of such benefits exceeds rupees 20,000 during the financial year. GST has been a landmark reform of independent India, showcasing the spirit of cooperative federalism. While aspirations were high, there were huge challenges too. These challenges were overcome deftly and painstakingly under the guidance and oversight of the GST Council. We can now take pride in a fully IT driven and progressive GST regime that has fulfilled the cherished dream of India as one market, one tax. Para. There are still some challenges remaining and we aspire to meet them in the coming year. The right balance between facilitation and reinforcement has and engendered significantly better compliance. GST revenues are buoyant despite the pandemic. Taxpayers deserve applause for this growth. Not only did they adapt to the changes, but enthusiastically contributed to the cause by paying taxes. In part A of my speech, I have referred to the proposed reforms in SAGES. Alongside, we will also undertake reforms in custom administration of SAGES and it shall henceforth be fully IT driven and function on the customs national portal with focus on higher facilitation and with only risk based checks. This will ease doing business by sales units considerably. This reform shall be implemented by 30th September 2022. Customs administration has reinvented itself over the years through liberalized procedures and infusion of technology. Faceless customs has been fully established during COVID-19 pandemic. Customs formations have done exceptional frontline work during all odds displaying agility and purpose. Customs reforms have played a very vital role in domestic capacity creation, providing level playing field to our MSMEs, easing the raw material supply side constraints, enhancing ease of doing business and being an enabler to other policy initiatives in the current years. Okay, thanks. Thank you.